So there's two murder investigations that are coming out of London that I wanted to highlight and the details surrounding both of these cases are literally as shocking as one another. For this first one then, we've got to head over to Eltham where 21 year old Bartosz Wasiakowski or Bartek for short has been named as the victim of a broad daylight murder that happened less than 100 metres away from a school. At around 10 past 5pm yesterday, Tuesday February 9th 2022, emergency services were called to reports of a stabbing on Lionel Road. When they arrived, they found Bartek suffering from multiple stab injuries. He was rushed to hospital but ultimately would go on to die from his injuries. In an update from the Metropolitan Police, they've said that no arrests have been made as of yet but inquiries ongoing. But again, this incident did take place outside of a school and this school wasn't a secondary school or even a primary school. Believe it or not, it was a preschool and nursery. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've got broad daylight stabbings taking place outside of nurseries. According to witnesses, children had been close to the scene and had been asking parents why police were there and what had happened. What we know so far, building a picture from various sources, is that Bartek had gone to a local grocery store with his girlfriend to purchase some milk. Two boys then had started to argue, I believe Bartek was one of those boys, a car pulled up, the occupants got out and started to chase Bartek down the road. One witness's son followed the group and rang the police. That son being left traumatised, says his mum, after witnessing the whole incident. However, a local resident said that they witnessed the whole incident go down once he heard shouting outside. He said this situation didn't involve a few people, it was a huge fight, blatant about 20 people, it had turned into a massive brawl on the street. Talking of the aftermath, a witness said they were at the scene with their children and saw flashing lights. As they got closer to the scene, they saw Bartek lying on the floor with paramedics around him. The witness said at first it seemed like he was okay and then out of nowhere, everyone started to go crazy. Bartek's mother had been at the scene as paramedics had started to pump his chest, that same witness adding that when she arrived, she just collapsed into the road. One minute his mother was speaking to the police, the next minute she passed out and another ambulance crew had to assist her. But sadly again, people had decided to pull out their phones and start recording Bartek dying. We've seen this a lot recently when it comes to murders, especially in London. For some weird reason, people feel the need to pull out a phone and film someone in their last moments. One witness said it was sickening that people could record someone's son dying, but were thankful that a bystander had sprung into action by running into the nursery to grab some blankets to compress the wound. Let's put that into perspective. Imagine someone running into a nursery, panicked, shouting that he needs blankets for a man who's just been stabbed outside. That scene must have been very chaotic and extremely disturbing. On Monday, less than 24 hours before Bartek had been murdered, at around 10 past 6 p.m., emergency services were called to Ailey Croft in Enfield to reports of a stabbing. When they arrived, they found 18-year-old Donovan, known locally as Dims, suffering from stab injuries. Donovan's full name hasn't been made public as I'm recording this video, so I do apologise that I don't have that information right now. However, despite best efforts from emergency services, he was pronounced dead at the scene, which is believed to be in a flat. According to reports, Dims has marked the first teenage murder this year. Subscribers of the channel will know that last year, 2021, seen the worst year since World War II of teenagers murdered on the streets of the capital. In this investigation so far though, an arrest has been made on a 14 year old boy on suspicion of murder, but he hasn't been charged as of yet. Witnesses have come out to talk of the tragic events, and one account is quite disturbing to say the least. Talking of that account, it was actually a resident who lived on the first floor. It's thought that Dims had been stabbed on the 7th, and they said that blood had fallen from the 7th floor all the way down to the 1st. Blood was quite literally dropping through the building. That witness said that she was dropping her shopping off and saw blood dripping through the ceiling. According to people who knew Dims, they said he wasn't from the area though and had in fact been visiting the estate from Hemel Hempstead, but no details surrounding why he was there had been released. For now though, that's all the information that we have surrounding these two murder cases. Of course, when I do get updates, I will keep you guys posted on these ones. 
For now, though, give the video a like for more crime-related content like this. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.